If you want to use artificial intelligence to generate images for your favorite virtual tabletop game on Foundry VTT, but don't know how to do and which model to choose, this video will help you out. Because today I'm going to show you how you can use Chibola 8 to select from a variety of models and how to find out which has the style you're looking for. And before we begin, please note that this is working for all game systems, no matter what you're playing. So you can use this for Cyberpunk, Shadowrun, Starfinder. It doesn't matter, but we will do it today in the Black Eye, which is a German tabletop game. The only thing that changes depending on your game system selection is some sub information we give to the AI to make sure the style fits the gameplay in general. And now we want to have a look at the generation process itself. We started by using the Chibola 8 menu, which you can easily drop as a macro. And this menu is an amazing piece on its own because here you can also add macros and you can select a lot of functions. I will show you this in another video, but today we want to jump into the process of AI selection. Another thing to note is that we have different AIs for items, actors and scenes because not all the models are capable of everything and to have a good uh, overview we will go to scene generation now. Here I can first type in a name for the scene. Let's call it the magic pond and then we can save the scene to our general folder. Now we have created the scene, should be already here somewhere. Here it is, the magic pond, and we click on the Chibola 8 button to start generation. And now I will go to this generation window and here in the upper right corner, you see three dots. And this is where you can select the image AI. As you see, we have a lot of them. Also latest version models like GPT image one or ideogram. So you have really a huge variety. And you can also select a standard AI, which you don't do here, but in your settings. So if you go to configuration, you can select a standard AI, which will always be used if you do not choose another one. So let's go back to the image generation and play around a little bit. I click on the generation button and we start with the first AI. So I select DALI and go to image generation and I already prepared a prompt and I will fill it in. Every AI has different special settings you can set up in the upper corner. So here, for example, you can select an image type. I won't do this in that video. You can select the size of the image style and sometimes uh, some more settings are possible. But now I will just start with the same prompt and all the AI models to give you an overview of how they vary. I start the image generation with this model and then I can instantly jump to the next one generate the next image and I will do this for all the AIs we have here to show you how different the results can be. As you see this process is really quick but of course it also uses a lot of mana so you shouldn't do this all the time but it's a nice way to begin with because then you know which AI is the one you like the most. So we have three more to go and here is this one and the last one. And the advantage of doing it the way I do it is that you can later see which AI model did which image because I followed the order I have here in the menu. And now we can have a look at the results. So let's have a look for those images. This is the first one. It was created by Dali. Here it is. It's a vivid style. It's a bit of a comic style. And remember, there are some background informations we give to the AI. We tell it uh, the game system and we tell it a little bit about the general approach. So you can always uh, work here with the settings. If you say the AI that you want a photorealistic image, it will try to be more photorealistic. If you try to do an image in black and white, it will do this. And um, so this is the first one. This is the second one. We just look through them. And as you see, they're all different styles. And it's really depending on your taste, which one you like the most. But once you look through, you can possibly better choose the way to go. So all of them are really beautiful. This is not a pond though. 
it's a river but look at those amazing trees and how realistic this image is done so it's still a beautiful image also some of the ais are better in understanding some of the ais need more explanation and some of them really understand you quite well and they do it right from the beginning some of them are more expensive some of them are cheaper and um, I will show you that in a second as well. So now we have an overview of all the AIs. And as you see, even with no settings made, this is different outcome. This is comic style. This is a bit more dark, but very detailed style. So now you can select which image you like the most. And I would really suggest to do this with the same prompt once. So you have a feeling. And whenever you struggle with creating an image, you can try this not with all the ais but with some of the big models like dali gpt image one stable image black forest so you can do a quick selection with three or four ais to see which one is the way to go and now let's quickly go to the resources and some other things you see in this selection window when you go to the three dotted menu again you notice that we have small mana bar here in the background so the more mana bottles you see there the more mana the model will use that's important to keep an eye on your resources and we also have those small clocks in the bottom the more clocks the longer it takes of course and then we try to tag so if you have a specific use case in mind like creating a photorealistic image you can for example go with flux pro ultra or if you want to create a not safe for work image you can go to playground and then as I said you have more options when you select one so for example with this one i could select not safe for work and i could also select different other aspects like image ratio like use case and if i go let's say to gpt image one I can, for example, do image to image by using a reference image, copy the style or stuff like that. We will go into this in another video. I will show you which things you can do with existing images and also how to use the AI to adjust them. But this was the video to give you an overview of how to quickly test many models directly in Foundry VTT. Each of those images could now be saved just with a click and you don't need to convert something. It's all saved in the perfect image form to use a low memory and to be quickly accessible. And you could also keep on working with all of those images. You can use them as a sketch. You can edit stuff inside the images. For example, you can remove this or you can add a person here. You can remove a person. So there are many ways to go from here, but this is the first step. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe our channel. And I wish you a lot of fun and success in trying these tools to enrich your virtual tabletop experience.